you said you're from Staten Island. Uh, what's the best state or best region of New York and why? Ah, uh, man, you know, every, it's so funny. Every, so we have five boroughs in New York Boroughs, City. that was it. Yeah, Brooklyn, Staten Island, Manhattan, Bronx, and Queens. Every borough has its own like little community, little culture. And then within those boroughs, there's like neighborhoods that have their own uh, cultures as well. So I would say maybe for me, I I really like Queens. Um, A lot of culture in Queens, a lot of history. Between Queens and Manhattan, I would say are my favorite boroughs that I like to hang out in the most. I did check your pro record, and I was quite surprised to see this is the first fight of your career that will take place in this in the state of New York. Uh, how does it feel to be to be fighting at home? Uh, it feels it feels surreal. Uh, I know it's. I fought in New York before, and I fought in front of like decent crowds in yeah. the uh, in the amateurs semi pro, mm. but this is the first time in my pro career that I'm fighting in New York City, and I'm doing it on such a big stage. Uh, to say I'm excited would would not be doing it any justice. I'm more than excited. I'm stoked, and not only that. To add to the occasion, we got two teammates uh, alongside myself. It's just gonna be, it's gonna be fireworks, man. I'm excited. Have you ever been to MSG before for a concert or for another fight? No, no. Actually, it's gonna be my second time in New York. Got Matt Fravola and Dennis Bazukis get sharing the car with you. What's the room like at the moment? I imagine there's a good buzz in the gym. Uh, ahead of November 11th yeah it's it's everything you would expect it to be we're grinding grinding together pushing each other all all that all that motivational talking all that uh Matt Favola is walking around after practice saying it's not in our house not in our house and it's just it's everything you would expect it to be the energy is high the grind is hard and it's awesome and it's uh, honestly like this occasion to go from the apex three times in a row right into MSG with two teammates is like, I don't know, man, I don't think you can write a book better than the way this is all unfolding. I checked your records and I could be wrong here, but as far as I could see, this is going to be your first fight in the state of New York since your debut, your professional debut. Uh, yeah, as a professional, yeah, that's that's correct, actually. I didn't even think of that. It's crazy. And how how does it feel to fight at home? Does it, does it bring any extra energy or any extra nerves? What are the emotions being tied to fighting at home? I would say both energy, extra energy, motivation, and nerves. Of course, this is my hometown. I, I feel like I'm defending my 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 town, my home. Um, but this is a dream come true. I've been saying it for years that, I I feel like I manifested this. Like I'm looking at this as my UFC debut because the last one was just short notice. You know, it was really, it wasn't like my, myself. I wasn't able to prepare anything. So I'm looking at this as my UFC debut and. I always believed when I would make my debut, it would be in my hometown in Madison Square Garden on a massive card. And uh, the rest of the manifestation is to get a big knockout and then shine. But so far, the manifestation, I feel like, has been coming to fruition. And everything that I said that I wanted is coming true. And it's all coming with hard work. So it's just a, it's a dream come true, to say the least, to fight in my hometown, especially Madison Square Garden, such a famous arena that I've been to so many times and always in the city. It's a... Uh, I'm so excited, man. Are you excited to fight in MSG? I mean, it's probably the most historical sport or fight arena. Does that add any extra excitement for you? I'm very excited. Uh, you know, as they say, I love to fight. I'm very excited to fight. Uh, you know, I respect uh, all the history on this arena. So I'm, you know, very uh, honored to be fighting uh, on that, to sharing the same place. Yeah. And I imagine as someone who is who currently lives in New York, you've maybe spent a good evening in MSG, maybe watching a concert or another sporting event. Do you have a, a favorite memory of, of your time in the garden at all? Yeah, I, I've watched several. I watched the Knicks there who got their asses kicked by the way. I remember that night. I forgot who they played. But the Knicks always uh the the Knicks disappointed us many, many times. But uh then I watched the Knicks there. I think it was the Rangers, or it was a hockey game for sure. It was the Rangers. I watched uh, wrestling there. It was, uh, I think it was high school wrestling. I think it's called Mayor's Cup. I, f I honestly forgot the, which wrestling tournament it was. It was also over a decade ago. Then I watched uh, fighting events. I forgot. I didn't watch UFC there. I forgot who I watched in boxing. I watched like maybe two, three boxing fights there, but I remember Golovkin. I remember Golovkin, and I remember this night in particular. I remember Golovkin, and I remember Trump came through MSG. 
So that night. So uh, yeah, that's the one that stuck stuck out to me the most, and that's probably one of the last things that I watched in MSG. So I have some uh, memories in MSG of watching the stuff there. Now I'm going to be in the middle of MSG putting on a show for the fans. Wow, I love it. How far away do you live from MSG? Uh, if I'm in Staten Island, where I grew up, 25 minutes. If I'm in Long Island, 35 minutes with no traffic. With traffic, it'll take some time. But, uh, you know, if you time it right, yeah, it's right here. I'm always in the city too, man. I'm always chilling out there, always hanging out. Uh, ah, man, it's, it's going to be so fun. I can't wait. Well, I was going to ask, because I presume as a New Yorker, you've, you've spent many an evening watching sports events or concerts in MSG. So do you have a favorite memory from spending, time, spending a night in the garden? Uh... I when I watched Lomachenko beat Linares, that might have been oh. one of the best. Uh, yeah, I think that might be the best, the best memory that I have there. I recently saw Dave Chappelle there a few weeks ago. That was awesome. But uh, seeing the atmosphere. Oh, and I. Oh, you know what? Actually, Amanda Serrano versus Katie Taylor. That was wow. a sick, sick uh, main event, and great atmosphere, great energy, great crowd. Of course, a fight night. Uh, that was actually those would I would say were my top two uh memories in MSG. Mm, I love it. 